There are a number of varieties and causes of thyroiditis. Autoimmune types of thyroiditis include Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves thyroiditis. Rarer causes of thyroiditis include de Curvain's and Riedel's thyroiditis. Direct or hematogenous spread of infection can result in infectious thyroiditis. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is a type of organ-specific autoimmune disease. There is a weak association with HLA DR3 and DR5. The condition is at least 10 times more frequent in females than males and the usual age at which it occurs is between 45 and 65. Signs and symptoms of Hashimoto's thyroiditis include diffuse thyroid enlargement, myxedema, reduced metabolic rate, slow physical and mental activity, coldness, thin hair, a hoarse deep voice, heart failure and hyperlipidemia. The pathological features of Hashimoto's thyroiditis include a diffusely enlarged thyroid, a dense lymphoid infiltrate with lymphoid follicles containing germinal centers, atrophic thyroid follicle cells and hurtle cells. These are cells with abundant pink staining cytoplasm. This enlarged thyroid with a pale cut surface is from a patient with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. In Hashimoto's thyroiditis, the follicles are small and atrophic. The other feature is a dense lymphoid infiltrate and many of the lymphoid follicles show germinal centre formation. Graves thyroiditis is the commonest cause of thyrotoxicosis. It is an organ specific type of autoimmune disease. In Caucasians Graves disease is associated with HLA, DR3 and B8. Circulating autoantibodies mimic the effect of TSH on the thyroid. This results in thyrotoxicosis. This is the diffusely enlarged thyroid gland from a patient with Graves thyroiditis. Symptoms of Graves thyroiditis include exophthalmos or bulging eyes. Patients are hot, suffer weight loss, tachycardia, diarrhea, anxiety and restless hyperactivity. The pathological features of Graves thyroiditis include hyperplasia of thyroid follicle epithelial cells, scalloping of colloid and a lymphoid infiltrate. The histological features of Graves thyroiditis include hyperplasia of thyroid epithelial cells and depletion of colloid. The hyperactive thyroid follicular epithelial cells result in scalloping of the colloid. De Curvain's thyroiditis is also known as giant cell or granulomatous thyroiditis. It is rare, occurring at least three times more frequently in women than men. The age at which it occurs is between 30 and 50 and it is associated with mumps, measles and adenovirus infection. There is fever and the thyroid is tender and swollen. This is the thyroid from a patient with de Curvain's thyroiditis. There is a florid fine body giant cell response to the colloid. Riedel's thyroiditis is rare. There is dense fibrosis of the thyroid extending into adjacent neck structures. It may mimic carcinoma and there may be occlusion of thyroid veins by fibrosis is associated with idiopathic fibrosis including 
retroperitoneal fibrosis. This is the typical histological appearance of a thyroid affected by Riedel's thyroiditis. You can see the characteristic dense fibrosis.